We wanted to get back to Team 12's Adriana Loya's story of a gruesome discovery in a neighborhood near I-17 in Camelback. An 80-year-old man's body found in his home dismembered. We do want to warn you that some of the details of the story are graphic. Adriana picks up the story. A Phoenix neighborhood turned into a crime scene. It's sad and it's scary. It's scary how close it was to home. Police finding a man dismembered and his body decomposing at his home near 30th and Campbell Avenues. It's a sad thing for it to happen to him because he, he didn't deserve that. Neighbors identifying the victim as 80-year-old Kenneth Peterson. Ruby Lowry says they've been neighbors since the 70s. Oh, he was a very good neighbor. He would help anybody. He would go over and help at the church. When we first moved in, he he presented himself to us um, to got to get to know us and everything. And then he would always bring my kids fruits over that he had left over, any type of stuff that he had. Candy sometimes he said because he was a diabetic, so he would go and take that stuff to our house. Police making the discovery after Kenneth's family requested a welfare check. Court records say on November 1st, officers went to his home. Inside, they were met with a strong foul odor and later found his decomposing body in a trash bag. They also found severed body parts in a pile of blankets in a laundry basket and in a stacked layer of linen. Blood could be seen on the ceiling, walls and furniture. During their investigation, detectives learned Ramona Gonzalez had moved into Peterson's home last year. She said she was going to be a caretaker, which I felt that he, you know, he needed. In April, documents show that Gonzalez allowed Thomas Wallace to move into the victim's home. Police say on October 28th, Gonzalez and Wallace were seen on surveillance video pawning a chainsaw and other tools that were in a box that had a decomposing odor. Police found Gonzalez and Wallace at a motel a week later and arrested them. During questioning, she told detectives Wallace inferred that he killed the victim. At this time, it's unclear when the victim died, but neighbors tell me they last saw him about two months ago. It, it's really sad. They took advantage of, of a sweet, nice guy to sit there and do something like that. You, you're not okay. Although Monica Moreno only knew Kenneth Peterson for four years, she says she will remember him as... As a loving, caring person. Thomas Wallace is facing multiple charges, including second-degree murder, while Ramona Gonzalez is facing fraud and theft charges. Friday night, neighbors lighting up candles for the victim. Adriana Loya, 12 News.